Parametric modeling is an extremely powerful tool for creating parts that update predictably when design changes are made. However, some design changes can remove or invalidate references used in downstream features, and that's when everything turns red. Trying to fix missing references can be a challenge, and making the wrong selections can make things worse. Fortunately, Onshape records every design change, so you've always got a previous version to fall back on. You can open an older version in a new window and interrogate the failed features there, or you can view, compare, or restore a specific history entry. Now, you can also view in repair, which can also be accessed from the button at the top. Select a known good history entry, and the window splits in two with the older version on the right. The two views are synchronized to make it easy to compare the versions, and if you prefer, the repair view can be opened in a new browser tab to do it the old way. View synchronization can also be toggled on and off. To see what caused the failure, the model can be rolled back in both views, and we can see that the derived part has been modified to lightweight the casting and reduce machining time. OK, let's fix this and start with the first failed feature. The face that the Make Connector references has been split in two. Making a new selection will fix this, but the Make Connector is now in the wrong place. Fortunately, there's an alternative reference that can be used. That fixes most of the issues, just two more features to fix. Edit the chamfer, and there are still two missing references which are highlighted in orange in the repair view. Hovering over the missing references highlights them in yellow. Now, the equivalent references can be reselected and the old ones removed. Finally, the break edge feature, which contains a lot of selections. And to fix this, it may be easier to start again. Pressing the spacebar to clear all the selections keeps the original selections visible in the repair view for reference. Create as many new selections as needed to fix and complete the feature. The repair panel will stay active, displaying the selected version or history entry until a new repair is initiated or the document is closed. This makes it easy to switch between tabs in the document and make as many changes as needed to fix the broken references. When you're done, simply close the panel. Fixing broken references is easy, only in Onshape. Creating a pattern of holes around a curved flange like this can be a challenge, requiring a lot of construction geometry. But with the improvements to make connectors, it's now a simple process. Placing a make connector on a curve orients the primary axis along the curve by default, but it can be realigned to an edge, a plane, and now any curved face, and will use the normal of the face at that point to reorient the make connector. What's more, patterning the make connector will reorient each instance normal to the face at every location, as long as reapply features is enabled. The whole feature can then use these make connectors to define each axis, and with very little effort, the task is complete. The edge to edge centerline feature can now add centerlines to partially obscured cylindrical features, but it can also add centerlines on cylindrical features where only one edge actually exists. In this example, a circular boss that is drafted down to the main body of the part. And it even works if this feature is on an angle relative to the view, which is great for isometric views and for completing all the necessary detailing on a drawing. Sometimes an edge may appear and measure coincident and tangent, but the surface analysis tools say they're not. Now, the measure tool will indicate with an asterisk if there is a discrepancy, but it's within the acceptable system tolerance. Investigating closer, we can see that the sketch geometry is not fully constrained, and measuring again, we see they are not tangent nor coincident but within the seven decimal places of the measure tool tolerance. This, of course, can easily be fixed. 
configured part studios and assemblies that have a single list input can now have all their configurations released at the same time, without having to add them to the release candidate one by one. Select Release All Configurations and follow the usual process. Each configuration is rebuilt to ensure that there are no errors which might block the release. This is a real time saver and adding all the part numbers is simple too. You can of course remove any configurations that you don't want to release, then add all the required information and submit. Simple. Thanks for watching. Click the logo to subscribe or see some of our other videos linked here.